Hi there, welcome to the Media Suite video recording and Premiere Pro user guide part 4. Now part 4 we'll be looking at importing video and audio together into your timeline, creating video cutaways um, and importing video or audio only onto your timeline. So it's kind of a, a three part step, all really quick. Certainly the importing videos is something we've touched on in our first three parts uh, over time. And so we'll be moving on from defining portions of video now to importing video, uh, followed by the next video, which will show you how to add text elements to the video. So we're gonna get away on with uh, doing the uh, importing of videos and show you how to use that. So the first thing as we've done already, you need to import your files into Premiere Pro, which we showed you in video part two. Once they're into Premiere Pro, they'll appear in this little box down here. So all your files are down there. Then you need to select the video file you want. So double click it and we've got a video, our video file. Uh, so we can quickly play through that just to see how it looks. That's our video file there. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is look at how to import video and audio combined again. This will be touching on the something we did in the last step quite easily. So, if you want to bring in this whole portion of video, uh, we don't want to make any defined parts of it this time. You do, we don't need to add our in and out points. So, as simple as left click grab on the video itself in the middle of the picture keep your left mouse button on, You'll, as you move it you see the hand appear and we drag it simply onto video line 1. That puts the video onto line 1, if your settings aren't right it will ask you to change them, we'll change it to match this video file. Now we could stretch this video out longer to fill more time up in our timeline if we wanted it to because it's quite a short video to start with. So, and as simple as stretching the video out, it literally we could right click at the end of it here and we could drag it up to an amount of time if we wanted if it was able to actually copy the video what it would try and do is loop the video but you're not going to need to do that ultimately you're going to be working with individual videos and bringing them in as we can so there we go we've imported a piece of video onto video line one that's really easy and simple now we could follow that with another video as well so we could bring in another video to go with that, which again is really simple. Uh, we've got certainly got more videos to choose from. So we click on our uh, video here, double click on it, allow it to be shown. We can choose whether we want all of it or just a part of it. And if you want to play it, you can see what it sounds like. What I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to bring this video in to adjoin the previous piece. So we click there, we bring it across, and there we go. That now moves in conjunction. So if we move onto the timeline box down here and we move the timeline playhead, we'll see it moves from video one into video two, video one into video two. Right, so that's as simple as that. So we've import, imported video and audio together onto the timeline. What we might also want to do is we might want to bring in video only uh, to show a clip playing whilst keeping the audio from line one uh, or vice versa. So what we're going to do now is going to show you how to create what is known in video production as a video cutaway. And this is where you bring in the, audio, the video only. And again, we select the video we want. Now this is quite a long video, so I might decide I only want a small portion of it. So we decide we want this portion here. So we mark our in point with an I. We move the playhead along. 
Oh, we mark her out point. Yep, you've guessed it, with an O. Right, now normally, to move the video and audio across, we'd click on the picture here, on the actual video, hold the left button down and move it all across. But if you look underneath here, you've got drag video only, and drag audio only. So what we're going to do in this instance is we're going to drag a video only. Now we could put it into line 1 and have no audio with it, but what we're going to do is we're going to drop it onto video line 2. So what will happen is as the main video plays through, we'll get audio from line 1, video and audio, and then when it gets to the cutaway part, you'll see the video from line 2 play, but it will maintain the audio from line 1. So it's really good if you're explaining a subject and you've got a small demonstration video showing you drawing, drawing out a diagram or a small video showing you demonstrating something which is actually a, you know, a physical process. You can actually drag that across but maintain your audio from your original lecture. So we're going to drag across the video only here. So we hold down on this video symbol, left button again, and as we move we see the hand appear and we drag it down and we're going to put it on video line 2 and we're going to put it there as a cutaway at this point. So as we grab the playhead now, we move it along, move, 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 then it moves into video 2 and watch in a moment, we'll get the cutaway video up here whilst maintaining the audio from line 1 back to your main video. Really good way of doing it. Now the other thing we could do obviously here is we could, if we wanted, move the audio only from this. So we'll clear out in and out points, right click, clear in and out point, we'll move along here, we'll pick another point and we'll, where Richard's talking about what he was do, doing and processing this picture and we'll in, move the playhead along, and we'll mark an out point. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to drag audio only. So instead of the picture you'll hear Richard's voice and we'll be able to drop it in onto audio line 2 so it actually takes over from the audio on the main video. So we click and hold over the audio symbol, our hand appears, we move it down onto audio line 2 and it snaps on. And there we go. What will happen now is we move the playhead along. You get video 1 into video 2 with quite a choppy soundtrack. Into our cutaway, but still maintaining the audio from line 1. Now it's going to go back to video, the main video. Here what we can do is we can drop the audio off on the main line so the audio comes from here. So we, we, we drop it over onto audio line 1 and what we'll get now is Rich talking through his video and then at the end you'll hear it go back once again to the main audio. So here we've been able to mash up and chop around pieces of audio, pieces of video to create a timeline which reflects the lecture or the podcast that we actually want to give. And that is as simple in those steps as importing audio and video combined onto your timeline, importing video or audio only to create video cutaways or audio cutaways to actually play audio over a specific part of your video. In the next video we'll go on to have a look at adding text elements which will allow you to put titles on and then subsequent videos for that we'll be looking at adding pictures and, subs and video so you can play video in video followed by fades and transitions and then the final one exporting files. Thank you very much for now this has been Media Suite Premiere Pro and Video Edit Training Part 4 Importing Video audio to the timeline with cutaways and video and audio only. Thank you very much.